Hi guys, Brittany King here from Elise 10 Designs and welcome to another sewing tutorial. This time we're going to be sewing some lace without a traditional seam. So you want to have two pattern pieces. I am doing the back of a bodice. So there's a center back and a seam for boning and then a side seam. You're going to want to have a rotary cutter with you and some embroidery scissors that are sharp and also a basting needle and thread. So you start by lining up your lace pieces. What's great about lace is you don't have to really go on a grain line. So I am using the scalloped edge of, I believe the crosswise grain of some really nice lace that I bought for a bridal gown. This dress is a work in progress. So um, you'll be seeing the final product, hopefully eventually soon. Uh, the wedding is this August. So um, yes, it's going to be very pretty. And what I'm doing now is I am basting that seam line um, just to make it clear where the seam is going to go and so I can align it with the other piece. So I'm checking and double checking, <laughs> making sure that stitch line is completely straight. Now I am going to cut out the piece around the regular seam allowances that um, are going to be just regular seams. But for this uh, special one here, I'm going to cut a very, very wide. I am cutting around the lace motifs as well because you are going to be overlapping this to the other side of the piece to eliminate that having a seam there. So now we're on to the second piece and we're doing the same thing, taking some long basting stitches to mark that seam line. And you're gonna want to check it against the other piece and make sure they fit up very nicely. Okay, so now you have your two pieces with your mark seam lines and uh, I'm just pulling on the thread a little bit so I got some long tail ends going on with the threads so they're not going to slip out on me and uh, I'm lining them up, making sure they fit and now you pretty much want to just choose the best side possible to overlap depending on the pattern of the lace, the motif that they have. So um, just choose one you think looks better that will go on top. Um, try to avoid a lot of bulk um, and then you want to use your embroidery scissors like I'm doing here and just cutting out that excess along the pattern and you're going to want to pin that to the other piece overlapping it nicely so that it all looks like one. It's pretty nifty and you don't get that ugly um, seam line because of the sheerness of the lace. It's a very nice finish. And to sew, you just follow the lines of the lace um, around the flowers, um, get it as close as you can to tracing around the curves. Um, there's a little bit of cheat that you can leave, but you know, as long as they stay flat and secure and they're not gonna rip apart, then you are totally fine. Uh, it's a lot of lifting your presser foot and um, going nice and slow. So do that and you'll get a nice flat piece and then I'll show you what to do after that. Now that the top layer of the lace is attached, you're going to end up with this underneath overlap um, from the other side of the piece, the bottom layer, 
and you pretty much want to go right to the edge of where you stitch so it's going to be wavy because it's tracing the lines of the flowers and curving that's that way so just take those sharp embroidery scissors that you have be very careful and just cut off any of that excess lace from underneath Well, that about does it for this quick sewing tutorial. I've done the exact same thing for the other side of the bodice and um, I hope you liked it and found it helpful and hopefully it made lace a little less scary for you. Um, remember to subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of sewing and other project videos so remember to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.